Well, have you heard that your road to make and keep more money starts right now? Hello everyone, I'm Deb Courtney and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have some steps that you may or may not already know that I have implemented in my life and they have really worked for me, so I wanted to share them with you. The first one is, is start saving or investing 10% or more of your income. Now, investing looks different to different people. Sometimes investing looks like stock or bonds. Uh, sometimes investing looks like getting CDs, um, IRAs. Whatever works for you, where you're at in your life now, I would sug highly suggest that you begin right now thinking about what you want to take place in your future life say 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years down the road and begin right now doing those things, implementing a plan that when you get to your future, you will be in pretty good shape. Now, I know inflation and thing has to be factored into that. However, that's always going to be a part of it. But these these are things that you can tweak as you go along your journey and your life to investing um, more if you can. Or sometimes you have to take a step back and say, because, because life does happen, things do come up, purchases we do have to have. However, don't let this slip by. Make the investment now to start saving or investing at least 10%. If 5% is all you can do or 8%, not a problem. Do that. The more you save now, the more you invest now, your future will be a whole lot easier and you won't be as upset or nervous or afraid or fearful or have anxiety in regards to uh, money issues, running out of money. There are a lot of places that you can go to that will show you if you invest just a, a little something each and every month. And I would suggest also to put that on an automatic debit that comes out of your account every month. I have found out through trial and error that when I put something to come out of my account, automatically, my bank takes it out of my account automatically, that I don't miss the money. I, when I don't see it, I don't miss it. So that works for me. And so hopefully, it, just, just try to think about it because guess what? The future is just a day away, tomorrow. And then after that, tomorrow. And then after that day, the next day. So you're always going towards your future. And before you know it, a year's gone by, two years gone by, five years, 10 years have gone by. And then it would be, it would be good for you to have that income there that would, could help you down the road for your future self. So this is something that I implement. It's something that I, uh, vigorously tell people to do because I have been there myself. Uh, you can try to play catch up if you like when you get in your 50s and 60s and you see that you have no money saved or anything of that nature, investments. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. It, start then. However, it's, it, it would behoove you to think about your future self and where you want to be when, once you get there 20, 30, 40 years down the road and how that's going to look like if you'll take the necessary steps to do this. That's the big number one for me. So that's the reason I'm spending a lot of time on, on this step. The next one is get a handle on your spending. Get a handle on your lifestyle and your habits. Take a inventory of your spending, your lifestyle and habits and ask yourself, how is this benefiting me? right now. There are, there, there are things that we have to spend money on. Upkeep, insurance, things of that nature. That's just part of daily life, ha having homes, cars, 
and, and things of that nature. But I'm not so much really talking about that as I am just, and, I, and I'm talking to myself when I say this, is going into stores and just seeing what's going on, if they've set out new product. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I know if I stay out of the stores, then I have a tendency not to spend the money. And I have to, guess what, intentionally have to do that. It does not naturally fall in my lap simply because I, I, I grew up that way. And so if you will take an inventory, like I said, and see what is necessary for you. And, and like I said, and then again, ask yourself that question. What is my future life going to look like once I get there, 15, 20, 25, 30 years or plus down the road? How is, and do, how is that going to look like? And what is my lifestyle and habits now that I can, can curb? Uh, maybe instead of doing something twice a week or every day or, or twice a month, you know, just set boundaries. Say, okay, I like, I like this. So what can I do in order to make this a win-win for me? Because if it's a win-lose for you, you won't stick to it. I know I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt and give it away. So the next thing is increase your income as much as possible. If you can increase it through another stream of income, I am all for having multiple streams of income. That way, when you are, one, one job goes out, you're not completely down. You're not completely uh, afraid and fearful. Of, oh, Lord, what am I going to do now? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? So I am another 1,000% uh, behind having multiple streams of income. I don't know what that would look to you. Depends upon your personality, your style, your, your way of living. But whatever you're good at, maybe uh, through your... Um, uh, let's see, not, ha not habits, but, uh, what you like to spend your, your past time on. Maybe you like to play guitar. Okay. So maybe you could start maybe, uh, doing guitar lessons for, for younger folks. Maybe you like to decorate and then you could, um, decorate people's houses. There, there's a lot of things that you may like to do. And there's a lot of things that a lot of, a lot of people don't really get into tech situations, but I know the, it's hard to find somebody that, that has a way of knowing technology and how to get things done and how to get things produced and so forth and so on. So maybe that is something that might could help you in having another stream of income. There is a whole bunch of things out there that you can take a look at. They may not necessarily uh, work for you, but there may be something that you haven't thought about to find passive income. And it, and it could be in, in like buying stocks. Oh, that's one of the things that I do in looking for stocks only that pay dividends. And so that every, like every 90 days, you have a, a money coming in from dividend stocks. That's something that I've looked into. That's something that I participate in. So just take what your, what your habits are or that you find yourself leaning more to that you're gifted with. That's what I'm talking about. Your habits that you're gifted with and see if there's any way that you could parlay that into another stream of income to increase your income. Okay. The next one I would like to talk to you about is handling debt, uh, your financial problems and crisis. I have found out for me, if you set aside a amount, a certain amount of money, say a thousand dollars for crisis that comes up for problems that comes up. It can be anything from having to buy a car battery that might have went dead on you to buy a set of tires that you, that you need. Uh, it, it can be a number of different things. It's always good to have a backup of income somewhere, saving somewhere, money market somewhere that you can get a hold of it immediately and 
take care of whatever financial uh, problem, crisis that you see that has come up in your life. Life happens, but you know what? You feel and you sense and you have a better amount of confidence if you do have a certain amount of money set aside that you don't touch. If, if, just, if it's just a hundred bucks, 50, 100, 500, do what you can to handle debt. And another th way that I handle it, of course, is staying out of the stores, not um, not wanting to buy everything that I see. It, that's not the, that doesn't mean I, I don't like stuff. I sure do. But I have to intentionally make make time and take the steps necessary that will keep me in what I need to do, where I need to be, and where I'm going, and how I want that to look like when I get in my future. So I hope those... Those items maybe triggered something in you that you thought, well, you know what? I think I can do that. I think I can maybe not start out with that much, but I can start out with something. Start out with something. A hundred percent of something, you'll find this out all during life. A hundred percent of something is better than a hundred percent of nothing. Remember that. Okay. This, of course, by all means, is not all there is. There's other ways to make and keep your, the money that you, you know that you make and how to increase your income. Go check it out. And I'm glad you found me. I'm glad I found you. Go out and make it a great day, and I will see you again next week. Bye.